Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom. Having so much fun today back in my new newly pink pinkified studio answering questions from viewers. It's just such a blast. Thank you guys so much for writing in. And here's the latest questions coming in from Paulina Moses. And she writes the following. Hey Melissa, how are you doing? I'm fine. We did have a tremendous amount of snow here over the weekend, but I'm fine. I'm a first time mom. My son Xavier is eight months old and 23 pounds. The doctor said he's tall for his age. He is currently drinking four to five bottles a day. I'm tired of people saying he's fat. It's getting annoying. I hear you. My questions are how many ounces of baby food and cereal should he eat? How many ounces of milk should he drink? How can I get him to start walking? I hope to hear from you soon. Have a nice day. God bless. God bless you too. Okay. Let's take this in steps because you got a lot of great questions. Number one. Um, my first piece of advice is to forget about what people are saying and the sooner you digest this, the happier and the better mother you will be. There is so much noise coming at all of us moms from the outside, so much judgment. It's so easy for people who are not in our situations, as well-meaning as they might be, to kind of weigh in and tell us what they think we should and should not do. And you know what? Very nice of them, but guess what? Don't listen. You are doing the best you can for your baby, for your family. You do the best. You follow your gut, follow your instincts, and you will make the right decisions. End of story. Listening to all that is only going to make you unhappy and insecure as a mom, and you don't need it. You have enough on your plate. Okay, onwards. How much should your baby be eating and drinking? So here are some of the statistics, some of the facts, and of course this all varies a bit. You are giving bottles. Your baby is eight months old, so generally an eight-month baby should have four to five bottles of six or so ounces of milk or formula a day for a total of 24 to 32 ounces per day. Okay, meals. Generally, a baby of this age, we're hoping for two to three small meals. I advise giving them after the milk because I find that the milk is still, well, I've been told the milk is still the primary source of nutrition at this age. So you want the baby to fill up on the milk and then you do want to start introducing new foods, but most of their nutrition is coming from the milk or the formula. So you want two to three meals a day that consists of about two to three ounces of some solid foods such as basic fruits, vegetables, and meats. And here are some examples. You want cereals and grains like rice, barley, and oat, fruits, apples, pears, plums, apricots, bananas, veggies, sweet potatoes, squash, carrots, green beans, broccoli. All of this is, of course, pureed, protein, chicken, um, turkey, tofu, and even some dairy, such as plain whole yogurt. Um, so that's a basic sort of dietary guidelines for your baby. Now, the question about walking is such a big one. It's the first time I've had it, so I'm going to I'm gonna answer that in my next video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna publish that video in a couple days, and there I'm gonna get on to your thing about walking because I do have some experience with this, having had five late walkers. So stay tuned for that. But thanks so much for writing in. I hope these guidelines when it comes to diet and nutrition for an eight month old have been helpful, and I'm so grateful that you wrote in. I'm wishing you the best of luck with your beautiful baby. I love the name, Xavier, it's amazing. And I will see you next time.